Hello guys and welcome to the next video and um, now we are going to tackle the cars resource um, in the similar manner how we tackle the users users one so let's get started so first of all I'm going to create a new file in this routes folder and I'm going to call it cars.js and this will house all of our routes for the cars this time okay so to get started um, let's first of all um, get a handle on the router and if you remember we're not using the express's default router but instead we're using um, this one so um, let's use it require express promise router like this and like that okay now we also need um, we need to create a handle on the cars controller so while it's still not there let's at least create it over here controller equals require and then we need to go up one directory and then in the folder controllers there should be one for the cars so up one directory controllers and then the cars you don't need to put js extension over there next we also need um, we also need to get a reference to our uh, validate param validate body and the schemas so here let's also import them so I'm going to go const and then validate body validate param and schemas equals uh, require and then we again need to go up one directory and then we have helpers folder and route helpers like that okay and now we can actually get started um, to, to define some routes so let's use the router um, object that we just created or actually imported and let's call the route function on it so on the main route um, route we will have a get and we will have a post um, get is going to return all the cars so um, let's call that method index inside of our cars controller so for now let me pretend that it's there like this and at the end we also need to export everything so module.export equals router like this okay so now um, let's create a new file for the controller as well so I'm going to create a new file here called cars.js and inside of here is where the fun will start so first of all um, let's let's create our construct uh, our file to be similar to this so we'll have like one module that exports and it will house all the functions so um, module that exports and here we will start with that index method that we just uh, called over here um, it is going to be a sync request response next and then we have this fat arrow body function and inside of here we pretty much need to um, get all the cars that's our task so I'm sure you can um, you can uh, imagine how this is going to get done first of all we need to get access to our um, car model over here so inside of here let's create a new uh, variable let's call it car and let's um, import the, the that file that I shown you um, that file is okay one directory up uh, we have folder called models and then we have car file now we can use that um, so here we can create yet another variable let's call it cars and then we will await um, and we will call um, find uh, just find because we want to get to find like all the documents so just like that and we need to pass an uh, empty object like this okay so now uh, once that, that that's done um, the cars will contain a list of cars currently in our database so for now um, let's simply maybe test it but okay we can also test it by actually returning something and we, we will use postman so let's go res status of 200 meaning everything went okay and then we want to send the cars um, as a json like that 
now if I save that and this file looks good um, this file looks good as well but if we go to the app.js we see that we are not really using the cars um, cars file in routes yet we are only using for the users so let's fix that so I'm going to write app.use we want to pretty much like bind that route on the slash cars and we need to uh, include that cars now this car this cars variable isn't defined um, users is like here so let's fix that as well let's call it cars and let's simply change here the, the path to our file so cars like this okay so now um, if I open my um, terminal I already started the server with a node nodemon um, if you forgot simply by typing yarn start in the directory of the full of the project and then once um, that uh, starts actually working I can open a postman and I can go um, slash cars and simply a root slash and I send this and we see all the cars that are currently stored in our database so this is great so now to continue um, to move on what we need to do is to create a way for someone to directly um, submit a new car so you probably guessed it that we want to do it or you simply remember from the first video that we want to use a post uh, HTTP method on the again the same route over here so um, here we will have a new function in our cars controller um, and let's call it new car so that we can um, stay consistent with our naming so I'm going to write cars controller and then dot new car like this and then I can close this with a semicolon okay so now inside of um, okay let me close this um, inside of our cars controller we need to write that new car now um, just one reminder how this works is we also need to say to our server um, who is the actual seller of this newly added car as you see as you can as you can see we're not specifying any seller in this um, route um, if you take a look here and we used post over here then we create a new car for this user but we also had a user ID in this scenario here we don't have it so instead what will happen is that the body of this uh, request will actually contain a seller's ID as well so um, if I come here let's start writing that function so I'm going to call it new car and then it is also going to be async uh, function let's have request response next and now if you think about it we pretty much need to do um, the following so we need to first of all find the actual seller then we need to um, create a new car and then we need to add newly created car to the actual seller pretty much so let's follow these um, these tasks and once we are done with them um, this function should work um, as we want it to work so how to find the actual seller well I already I told you that like the ID of the seller is going to be stored in the body of the request so let's first of all get a handle on that particular user to do that we also need to expose the user's model like this one so let me write um, user equals require um, up one directory models and then user like this okay so now we can uh, create a new variable let's call it seller and uh, we need to await the user and um, find by ID because we, we will have ID of that seller and that ID is going to be stored in our body and let's simply call it seller like this okay now we have actual seller now we can create a new car how can we do it? Well, we already have request.body that contains all the data that um, car needs. But if you think about it, that request.body also contains this seller ID, which isn't needed um, to create a new, new car. 
so how can we do that well we first of all need to let, let, let's use let's bring all that values in the request.body into a new variable let's call it a new car and let's simply assign that to request.body now we need to delete this field because we don't need it we just want to get request.body without the seller's id because we use seller's id on this line and that all its purpose was and that's what it purpose and that's what it purpose was so here I can say delete and then a new car dot seller so now at this line over here new car will contain all the data necessary for the new car but not this seller um, property anymore so now that we have that we can actually create um, a car and we can do that by typing the new keyword and then using this model that we exposed up above and then simply passing that object that we want new car to be constructed from so now this car will contain a uh, pretty much like new car but it's still not stored in our database and we need to first of all like save that in order to, to for that effect to take place so we simply need to type await car.save like this at this point we have added a new car successfully but we still didn't make that link between the new car and the seller over here so to do that let's let's um, come after this um, third comment and let's do that so uh, what we need to do is pretty much reuse this variable seller and then if you remember or actually let me show you if I take a look at this uh, schema for our user you see that among the other properties it contains a property called uh, cars and that is a property where we want to store um, this newly created car okay so to do that we're going to use the seller and then we're going to use dot notation to access this cars property so dot cars and then we want simply to push to that a new value since that's actually an array of objects so we want to push a new object in it so I'm going to type dot and then push and then we simply want to push this um, car over here once that's done don't forget that you also need to save this seller otherwise this will simply get like temporarily done and will get removed and won't be like persistent so I'm going to again type await seller.save like this now at this point we're done pretty much so we can um, respond back to our client with a status of 200 and we can um, we can return back the card that was just created Okay, so let's test this and see what is happening. So I'm going to open, first of all, let me check that everything is fine here. Okay, it is fine. And um, then let me uh, let me open um, Postman and let's create a new post request on this route. Let's use the row and let's use a JSON. Okay, and then what we want to uh, pass, well first of all let me check all the users since I forgot about them. So we need to pick some ID. So let's say that we want to assign a new car to let's say this, um, they are all called the same which is kind of confusing. Okay, let's, let's use the Frank3. So I'm going to copy his ID and then inside of this um, inside of this request we want to pass a seller and then we want to pass his ID next we want to pass pretty much what the car model wants us to pass so I'm going to open that and like make um, BMW um, model um, let's say x6 um, year let's say 2017 and let's try with that so if I submit this we get back the, the car that we just created okay but let's see what actually happens with this Frank um, person so if I scroll down 
you can see that now Frank3 has submitted this new car over here. Okay, and if I come here, as, and if I also come like to to see all the cars, like this, um, we can s well, uh, let's actually try to find our new car, and it is here. But if you take a look, this property over here is missing. So now we have made like one-way reference. Now the seller is aware of the car, but the car isn't aware of who's of who is actually selling that car at the moment so we need to fix like that direction right now so if you take a look at the car schema we also have a seller um, property over here so let me keep that on the right side and let's come back here so we find the actual seller we create a new car but before we actually create a new car let's actually um, after this line let's come and say car um, dot seller referencing this field over here is actually uh, the seller so um, the difference here is we here had an array of objects so we needed like to use push similarly to how you would push data to like any regular JavaScript array but inside of here we don't have really array we just have one object because only one person is going to be selling that car at any particular point in time so we can get away with doing this now let me um, try this let's save this and see if that fixes it so uh, let me come here again uh, let me simply change this to like 5 and let's change this to 2016 and send this Okay, so now if I refresh the users and I scroll down to Frank3, we see that Frank3 is selling um, two cars. That's great. And if we refresh the cars list and we find the latest car, this is the one. You see that now this uh, contains the seller property, but this previous l previous one didn't. So now we totally fixed that. Now, um, this is pretty much the end of the video, but before I go, let's just um, turn these two uh, functions into uh, validated ones. Like, let's use the validated body, validated param, things of that nature, so we can be sure that we are totally done with um, these two functions and that we don't have to come back to them. So, um, open the car's route. Okay, this is what we have currently. Now, this gets isn't receiving any data pretty much from the client so we don't have to do any validation in there we're not selling uh, we're not sending any params we're not sending any body so it's all fine and dandy but this dot post function um, is it is sending a body so let's validate body then so again I'm going to use this function validate body and then we need to specify the schema now, of course, the schema uh, doesn't exist at this uh, point, so let's create it. Um, if I come to this route helpers file, let me simply minimize all of this. And let's simply... Um, we, we, can't really re we can't really use this one, because as you can see, this one doesn't contain like a seller's ID, which we need. So we can call it like new car schema maybe or maybe you can think of some better way of some better name to name it but it really doesn't matter so joy dot object dot keys and what it needs to have well it will have pretty much this but then it will also have a seller and let's make sure that that is how we called it so if we open cars controller seller yes okay so seller and that's going to be, uh, remember, that's going to be ID of a particular document inside of MongoDB. And I've already told you that while it is a string, um, you can use this regular expression to be like on the safe side. So let me simply reuse that one. So now um, the joy will complain if we pass something uh, like weird for this seller's ID property. So now I can save this. Let's use this in side of our cars.js route um, I'm going to go schemas and then dot new car schema like that 
Now to make sure that this is working, let me come to cars controller and inside of here before doing anything else, let's simply console log the content of request.value like that. And let's simply wait a second for this to restart and let's come here and I don't care like let's let's um post like the same thing. I just want to see what's happening inside of here so as you can see all is great so let's simply now use this to modify our code I'm going to pin this on top so now um, this seller isn't anymore in request.body and it actually is but we want to use this validated version which is in request.value.body and then that seller awesome we want to grab the contents for our new car from request.value.body ok and that's pretty much it I think um, new cars.seller ok yes car.seller equals yes that should be it so now let's make one final test and then this is going to be the wrap of this video so let's say oh I don't know x3 that car even exists and let's say 2012 and let me send this okay looking good let's refresh all the cars and try to find it um, here it is looking good as well and if we refresh the list of all the users and they find that frank 3 and we can see that it just got like the fourth car added okay so guys that's that for this video um, this shouldn't take along right now because we just need we just have like slash car id route to to add but that one will contain like all the methods so like get put patch delete but after that um you pretty much have um working api for this like fictional um website that you can also implement using either something like handlebars or maybe using like react or vue.js and things of that nature so thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the next video